Thank you for watching our video. If you would like to see more, please visit our website at www.fultonfumc.org. To support our web ministry, please send a donation to Fulton FUMC 1408 State Route 176, Fulton, New York 13069. Thank you and enjoy the video. Only Jesus heard it when he said, I tell you, if they keep quiet, the stones themselves will start shouting. I don't know, that's pretty bizarre. And I know critics of the Bible will say, all right, enough is enough. Your Bible has talking snakes, talking burning bushes. Your Bible has an ark big enough to carry about a billion species of animals. Your Bible talks about a virgin birth, and now you got a talking stone. As is, I believe, always the case in Scripture, there is a deeper understanding, a deeper theology that is meant for us to begin to understand. And in this case, it is this. That God's kingdom was coming, and nothing was going to stop it. If followers would not announce the kingdom, nature would. Think about it. The most inarticulate form of creation was going to talk if the people didn't. Dumb as a box of rocks. <laughs> I can't think of anything more inarticulate than a stone. <laughs> but Jesus said that if the people didn't proclaim the kingdom, even this would. There's a deeper understanding and significance that says that nothing's going to stop God's ultimate purpose. And if we don't proclaim it, the stones will. Now, I hope there's a connection being made here, and I hope you're back here next Sunday to see it. Because that's what happened at Easter. The stone was rolled away. The stone spoke the glory of the resurrection without saying a word. The most inanimate, inarticulate symbol of creation spoke the resurrection. A stone did it. That's heavy. The stone at the tomb got a voice on Easter morning, and it said and meant something far beyond mere words. And so with that understanding, friends, we're left with this. There was a voice of love through the disciples on Palm Sunday. There was a voice of threat with the Pharisees. There was also the voice of Jesus in the stones, but that doesn't mean diddly. None of it makes any sense if we don't ask, where's our voice? What do we say? Do we say anything? Do we say something? Do we say nothing? For example, will we use our voices this week to invite family and friends and neighbors to the celebration that the tomb has been opened and Jesus has been resurrected? Or we, will we go through the whole week saying nothing? Will we invite people to the Holy Week services so they too can begin to understand God's glory is coming, whether we announce it or not? God's kingdom is coming, or will we be silent? Because, friends, I end with this. If we don't speak, the rocks will. <laughs> 